Hi, uh, let's go through some example of how to find the vertical asymptotes of the um, trigonometric function. So I want to find the vertical asymptotes of the following function. So the first one, I have y equal cosecant of pi over 3x. Right. So um, the first thing I would do is that I can rewrite the cosecant in terms of psi. Right. So this become 1 over psi of pi over 3x. So this function has vertical asymptotes whenever it's undefined, right? And it undefined when the bottom is equal to zero. So size of pi over 3x is equal to zero. Okay? So if you look at the, your unit circle, if you look at your unit circle, when is your side theta equal to zero? So by the way, I want you to look at this, the whole thing pi, pi over three x is theta. So it is equal to zero in here and here, right? At zero, if I go from zero to two pi, I see it's equal to zero at zero, and then at pi, and then at two pi, right? And if, if I keep going, it's, if I keep going, one more surround is equal to zero at three pi, and then four pi, right? And if I keep going, if I keep going, I have five pi, and then six pi, etc. right? So I know that my theta equal to, my size of theta equal to zero, when theta equals zero is uh, pi, uh, two pi, three pi, four pi, uh, five pi, six pi, etc. right? So it's the multiple pi, right? So in, instead of listing out all that, zero, one, zero pi, one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, I will have a better way of writing this. So I have a better notation of writing this um, as the following. How about n pi, right? Where n is your integer, the set of your integer. Okay, it could be negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, et cetera. So this, I know that psi theta equals zero when theta is equal to n pi, or better yet, pi over three x is equal to n pi. Well, what x equal to, I'm going to um, multiply both sides by three over pi, right, three over pi, oops. So my left-hand side, three, three cancel, pi and pi cancel, left me just x equal three n, right, x equal three n. And that is your solution. Okay, so if you graph this, let me show you real quick. So if you graph this, so here's zero, one, two, and three, and then four, et cetera. And they have negative one, negative two, negative three. And then you make a little chart, you make a little t, t table. Here you have n, here you have x, which x equal three n here. When n equal um, zero, uh, x also equal to zero, right? Because three times zero is zero. So your vertical asymptote, asymptote actually right as your y-axis. Right at the y-axis. When, um, when n equal negative one, x equal three times negative one is negative three. So your vertical asymptote is actually here. Okay. Or well, when n equal one, uh, x equal three, so your vertical asymptote is here. Okay. And you can replace with n equal negative two, three, four, five, et cetera. <clears throat> In the following, Example, 
I have y equal three times tangent of two x. So again, first thing first, I'm going to write this in terms of sine and cosine. So this equal uh, to three times size of two x over cosine of two x. Again, this function is um, has vertical asymptote whenever it's undefined, right? And it's undefined when cosine of 2x equal to zero. Okay. And using the similar argument above, if you look at the unit circle, the cosine theta, okay, I want to look at this as theta, cosine theta is equal to zero when it is at what pi half or three pi half. Right, that's one surround, and you can go many more surround the unit circle. So, um, so long story short, you should note this. Um, let me put a little side note here for you. Cosine of theta equal to zero if and only if theta is equal to pi over three plus n pi, where n is the set of your integer. Okay. So, so this means 2x is equal to pi over 2 plus n pi. Okay. And then if I multiply both to both sides, well, multiply one half both psi, I have x equal to um, one half times pi over two is pi over four plus n pi over two, okay, where n is the set of integer. Okay. And that's how we um, finding the vertical asymptote of a trigonometric function.